Hello and welcome to this channel. In this episode I will cover the copy command of the Aruba 8400 series switches. This video is part of a series of videos covering the Aruba 8400 CLI. The main focus will be around copying the configuration files, checkpoints and diagnostic files to various destinations in various formats. Let me first start off with the main options of the copy command. So you can copy configuration files to various different destinations, either locally on the switch or on remote destinations through TFTP or SFTP. The copy command also supports different file formats for transfer, either clear CLI or JSON format. Let's start by doing a simple copy of a running configuration file to a checkpoint on the local system with a different name. Let me first um, make a change to say the uh, host name okay and then let's copy this running config to checkpoint um, running test for example Okay, so I've copied that. If do a show checkpoint list, you can see that my running test is there. And um, you can see the contents here. Okay, so it's name switch 8400. Um, and um, so the running configuration is not the configuration that is stored in this system. So for this we have to copy the running configuration to the startup configuration. So what we can do is we can use the copy running configuration to startup configuration command. And now the configuration is saved. Uh, so we can also abbreviate. So if you really want to make it in a short command, you could do it with the copRS command. That does exactly the same. Now let's try out some external destinations like a TFTP server or an SFTP server. First a TFTP server. For this, of course, you need to have a TFTP server running, which I have here and uh, that TFTP server has to be accessible by the 8400. Um, I've configured the switch for um, remote access through the out-of-band management interface. So let me just show you the running config. Uh, you can see that I am doing out-of-band here. So I should be able to ping the TFTP server in the management VRF. Uh, so we can do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to copy a checkpoint to a TFTP server. So let's do the running test and let me show you the options what we have and in particular the first one is interesting. So that's your SFTP TFTP copy, so I need to provide TFTP colon slash slash the IP address of the TFTP server and the file name. And let's provide the JSON extension. So the file is stored in JSON format on the TFTP server. And uh, because we're using out-of-band management, we have to assign it to the management VRF. And you can see that the file has been copied here. Let me quickly show you the content. We use PyCharm for this. And you can see that the file is stored in JSON format. And of course we can also copy something from a TFTP server to the switch. What we're going to do is uh, first change the hostname again uh, to switch. 
and then uh, copy the uh, running test config from the TFTP server. So copy TFTP 172.16.1.10 running test.json JSON format and let me just show you the options so I can either copy it to the running config or to the startup config so let's copy it to the running config and of course we have to assign it to the management VRF and that's stored and you can see that the configuration has been applied back to the switch again now copying back to the switch, uh, we can only do this with JSON format files. Um, if you want to uh, copy CLI format files to a TFTP server, uh, they are you know they allow you to have a readable document, but for importing configuration back to the switch, you have to use the JSON format configuration. Now let's try and copy something to an SFTP server. The format of the command is slightly different than the TFTP copy, copy because with SFTP we have to authorize. And what we're going to do here is we're going to copy the running configuration to the SFTP server. So copy running config. You can see that we get the same options here and now we're going to choose SFTP and we have to provide a username here. So that's a user that has been created on the SFTP server. We call it SFTP at and then provide the IP address 16.1.10. Uh, provide the config. So that would be the running config. Let's give a question mark here. Now what we can do, we'll do here is we can store this file in CLI or JSON format. Now let's store this in CLI format and of course we have to apply the VRF. Uh, yes and we have to provide the password and you can see now that the file has been uploaded now let's check out the file. Let's open it with PyCharm. There you can see the configuration file in CLI format. It's not just configuration files that you can copy. For uh, troubleshooting purposes, you can also upload diagnostics, diag dump, show tag, and support files to a specified destination. The core dump support files and diag dumps are typically requested by technical support to allow you in depth, uh, for in-depth troubleshooting. Um, usually for initial troubleshooting, the show tag uh, is used. So let me show you how to copy this to a TFTP server. Initially, the show tag information is not available on the switch, so you have to generate it using the following command. Uh, show tag local file. And this generates the uh, tag dump in a local file. And once that's created, we can copy it to a remote destination. So I can copy the show tech local file to say an SFTP location, uh, SFTP at 172.16.1.10. Um, let's call it show tech txt and let's provide the VRF again, GMT. send the password. This file is slightly bigger so it takes a little bit longer and you can see that the show tech command has been copied here. And then let me 
open it for you and you can see that this contains a lot of information that uh, that you can use for initial troubleshooting with uh, with Aruba Tech support. And then as a bonus, let me show you the content of the support files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a feature uh, for the VLAN interface. So the VLAN interface feature, I'm going to copy those to uh, to the TFTP server. So copy support files and feature and then if I do question mark I get a list of features that I can select so I'm going to select the VLAN interface feature and I am going to copy it to the TFTP server 16.1.10 uh, now I have to store this uh, uh, information in tar.gz format. So interface tar.gz and provide the VRF. And you can see that I'm doing a typo here. Has to be two slashes. So it's collecting the data and it's going to copy the file to the destination and you can see that the um, file has been uploaded. And let me open the file. It's an archive, GZ archive. Just let me open it and you can see that there's a lot of information here that can be used by tech support. Um, just, just let me just show you the interface table, table for example. So there's a lot of info here. There's a show tag as well, show tag basic. Um, so on this again, this can be used by tech support. Okay, so this concludes this uh, this demonstration video on how to work with the copy command on the AD400. I hope you find this useful, and if you did, please like the video. And if you have any comments or requests, please let us know. Have a great day.